All right, let's dive into our next story, shall we? There is a man who posted on Reddit asking, is he wrong for refusing to pay for his wife's meal in front of his stepdaughter? So he says his wife keeps forgetting to bring money when they go out on Friday nights, and he has finally reached his limit. Who wants to dive in? Who is in the wrong here? They both sound like rotten people. I feel like they are doomed right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. They're communicating. If they're having problems communicating about this and what their expectations are, how many other blind spots are there in their relationship, okay? I, I think this couple has problems for days. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my relationships, I have always found it to be a point of pride to be able to reciprocate. I would not feel comfortable in a dynamic, whether friend or lover, where they always paid for me. That's just not where I'm at. I've never been there. Even when Jason and I started dating, I just kind of like would every, I don't know, however many meals, I just at some point would insist. I, Tyrone, I haven't paid for dinner in 10 we, years. Hold on a second, Sin. What? You always let me what? pay. No, I pay for you. <laughs> that is not true, Tyrone. I have definitely paid. Set the record straight. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. But you know what? I, I, I agree with you. I think that if they're not on the same page, if they're going to dinner and not on the same page about who's gonna pay, then they're probably not on the same page about a number of different things. Where he's in the wrong and where they're in the wrong is why are they doing this in front of the stepdaughter as well? I believe that a lot of things in life in terms of Good parenting point. have to be led by example. It, you know, you, you, the parents always say, do as I say, not as I do, but I don't believe in that. I think that what you do is what people are going to uh, subconsciously sort of like internalize and start to emulate over the years. So you're arguing over money for food. So like, are, are you guys, are, is it like, is it a household where it's like, this is my orange juice and you can't drink from it? Like that is, that is not how I live. I don't live like that with my friends. I don't live like that with, uh, uh, with a girlfriend. I don't live like that with Cynthia. I don't live like that with anybody. That is impossible. <laughs> I love but that, Tyrone. Mel, did we little, go back to you, Mel? Yeah, you it's just a little new, more yeah. nuanced than that, though. For dinner? Because I, I haven't paid for years? dinner with Ryan in, like, like I, I say 10 years, but it's probably 15 years. Like, wow. I don't ever pay for dinner. But Good. it's not because that's that beginning and end of the story. I don't know about the backstory with this couple, but Ryan and I, we have, um, you know, shared expenses. And so I take care of a whole host of expenses. Ryan takes care of a whole host of expenses, and together it's a harmonious um, household. So one of the things that happens to be on his list, and I sort of say not, we've never sat down and, and hammered it out, but over the years we've sort of worked out what works best over here, what works best over there, and what works best over there is Ryan always taking care of dinner, but who is also paying other bills regularly, that is me. And so we have overall shared it. It doesn't sound like that's what's happening, unfortunately, with this couple. I think okay. there is a lot of nickel and diming. I think there's a lot of unsaid stuff that is just bubbling under the surface. And I think you're right. I don't know how old the stepdaughter is, but like, is mom trying to make an example? Like, the man should pay for you, daughter. Or is it more, is it something else? Like, I don't, there seems to be yeah, a lot of complications I, I, here, but I don't think it's cut and dry. For me, anyway. Like what freaked me, what freaked me out about this story is that, like he said, like in, in this, in the questionnaire, he was asking the question of the people on the internet. He was asking, like, so I literally said to my wife, "I think you forgot her purse when she got in the car," and she said, "Oopsie, I'll go inside and get my purse." And then they go into the restaurant, and the bill comes. She's just like, "Oopsie, I think I left my purse in the car." Mm. And then she goes out to the car. And she's <laughs> like, "Oopsie, I didn't even bring my purse." Whoopsie do. You know, it's like Simon when when we go out for dinner and he says dinner's on me and takes out his blockbuster card you know from 1992 <laughs> i think something's up yeah i think i think something's up and i honestly i i don't think it should always be about money I, i'll share a, a quick story like when i first started dating my girlfriend i remember she said to me you know um I, if i could afford to take you on these fancy dates that you've been taking me on i would but let me know if you're available tomorrow at 7.30. And when I went over there, she had the back, backyard all set up and she made me this amazing meal. And she, that was her way of saying thank you and her way of treating me to, um, to a nice evening. That got me, to be quite honest. That, like, it's, just, it's the effort versus the excuses. You, you, don't, you don't forget your wallet. You don't forget anything. It's, it's an effort versus <laughs> it's an excuse. So at the end of the day, I feel like this guy has other insecurities about the relationship, and he's just, you know, sort of, it's sort of resurfacing as this, this topic about paying for dinners. But 
He's, he's unsure about her in, in a number of different ways, I would bet. Mm. Dr. Phil moment, mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> <laughs> it's never about the toilet paper. <laughs> Lainey, what would you do, though, if we, like, let's say we all got together, just quickly, uh, and every single time we went to dinner together as a group, one of us forgot our wallet. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't happen with us. Are you asking me who's most likely to forget their wallet? <laughs> no, ooh, ooh, you can ooh, answer ooh. that if you want, because I think we're moving on. <laughs> I don't, move on honestly, to I think the beauty now. of our friendship is that all of us, we're the kind that's the opposite. I think most of us fight to pay. Um, <laughs> what I do know is that what none of our partners and we would do to our partners is, like, I hear you, there are communication issues with this couple for sure, and I don't know, maybe it was a little shady that she kept making those, ex those excuses. The red flag for me here is he decided to reprimand her in the middle of a restaurant. In front yeah. of the stepdaughter, mm. yes. But then the stepdaughter left, and then he wanted to go for it with an audience. So mm -hmm. there's one thing, like, there can be communication issues and misunderstandings about money, but a dude who decides to ring you up in front of an audience, that to me is, girl, get out, you're in danger. Mm -hmm. Totally mm. agree, that is Dirk. Let's